Hello, welcome to Figaro Middle East, the, our stand at Aripec 2022. What you can see here is our 12 metre blue essence vessel. Uh, this is a model of the, the Figaro Pegasus, which actually just arrived in the Middle East last week. So what you can see is the 12 metre vessel kitted out with the uh, survey equipment, so multi-beam echo sounder, single beam echo sounder and a SVP probe. And then out the stern here we can see the, the Blue Volta fully electric ROV. So the, the 12 metre vessel is fully uncrewed and remotely operated from our operations centre, which I can demonstrate for you now. So here we are inside the remote operations centre that we've got running live from Aripec. You can see there's a, a, an array of screens here. On the left hand side is the ROV control station, so this person's controlling the ROV. In the centre we've got the vessel control station with the person uh, driving the USV. And then on the right hand side is the survey where they're collecting all the survey data. I'll pass you over to Wes, he'll talk you through the ROV. Here we have our built-in in-house uh, fully electrical ROV, the Blue Volta, which has capabilities of the uh, visual inspection pipeline survey, um, inspection of subsea infrastructure, also fitted with uh, multi-beam. At the moment uh, we're manipulating the, um, the arm and uh, the ROV is in our USV 150 kilometers away from here. As you can see there's a very very little latency so that's perfect as a Fugro remote solution. And what would I use the, the gripping arm here for? What kind of operations could I use it for? We're going to use it for like CP stabs, a small maneuvering, light intervention. Okay. And in terms of the type of inspection, what would I inspect or what, what kind of data would I get back? You could get like um, visual inspection, you get a multi-beam. We do sort of pipeline inspections with it. Um, subsea infrastructure. Um, we're also gathering multi-beam data from the vessel as well. So we, we actually have the, the two components running in parallel at the same time. And this particular vehicle is what, 150 kilometers from here? About 150 to 200 kilometers from where we are at the moment. And you also, um, you have this vessel, you have another vessel operating totally autonomously in Australia, right? So we actually have four vessels at the moment. We've got two operating in Australia, one in Europe, and then this one in this first in the Middle East. In terms of the art of the possible around remote inspections, this is pretty cool. Good stuff. Thank you.